Hello everybody, I'm Keith Williams here. Today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to pose figures in Daz Studio. It's a very easy and very simple program. You can pose figures or you can render scenes. So, to start out with, you'll have a blank template like this. After you've downloaded it, opened it, this is what you will have. But, if you click figures, you will actually see the folder Daz People classic casual, Victoria's clothing, and glamour hair. There also may be the V4 trainers, these are all the basics. So to start out with, you bring your figure in. You click on Daz People, and all you will see is Victoria 4.2. She is default for this program and she comes with it. You double click on the little icon here and she appears on the screen. Use this tool to move your camera around, rotate around and see your model. Use this tool here to pan the camera back and forth. This tool here is, here is to view in and out as you please. This tool here is to skew for any reason. So, set it back to default. Okay. Now, the default pose is usually a T. They stand with their arms straight out, their legs straight down, and their neck facing forward. Now, as you can see, Victoria 4 also has different morphs. Because she is the default and the only free one when you first start out, unless you go and download other models, she can also be a male model. Now, these morphs can be adjusted in any way, but they are basically here so you can use this. There's also morphs to help adjust her body. She can be anything from a bodybuilder to a sumo wrestler. You simply click and slide these back and forth to change your body figure. I'll start off Victoria in her woman's state. First things first, is to start to the pose you want. These tools up here. This is to click and basically select any body part which you can then use these sliders to bend, twist, and bend to the sides. This can be very useful and can be used but is very tedious and can take very long if you are planning on doing intricate poses. Another option is to simply click a body part and move it around. But as you can see, this ends up very sporadic and very hard to get them to the way you want it. So the way that I do it is you click here on the rotate tool, which allows you to click on any body part that has a joint and rotate using the sphere. All of these lines are basically a different direction. You start at a base and you move it around until you get it the way you like it. Now if you're going to do very slight movements and want to get it right, you can also use these over here then. The models that most people put in here, Victoria for now mainly, have almost all the range and movement that a human would. They simply do this by building joints. You cannot do this in this program but you can use posters. Simply adjust any body part you want. If you are not one for posing, if you are not one for adjusting all of this, Daz Studio has provided you with poses for them. Yet again, I have downloaded content afterwards, but what you should start out with is Daz Victoria 4. There's general poses, magnetic clothing, and morph interjections, if I remember right. These are preset poses. As long as you are clicked on the model, you can double click these poses, and it will shape her body to these poses. If you do not like one exactly, but you like the gist of it, you can click, double click on the pose, decide what you want, 
and then adjust her afterwards. Right now though, she is a simple model. You can add things to her, such as clothes and hair, by going into the content file, which is this, on the figures, the classical clothing, you simply double click while clicked on your model, and they will map to her. You do not have to worry about adjusting the clothes, because they are now mapped to her and will bend with her. There is no collision detector, so you must watch for a realistic picture. Watch their limbs and make sure they do not collide. She also has hair in the default, which will map to her the same as any other. Now, after you've chosen a pose and set her the way you want her, you can change everything from facial expressions by simply clicking on her head, going over here to the morphs and expressions, and you can change almost every muscle in her face to shape the way you want it. may have a little creepy smile now, but that's okay. This is just my model that I'm using to show you how to do all these basics. Now, they do allow rendering in this program, but I prefer to export it. So I will start off with a different model. and then go up here and file export depending on what you want to export them as you have your options here if you plan to use it in just another program without posing them use OBJ make sure you know the file where it is saving so you can find it when you import it in the next program after you click export, it will give you options. You can choose, depending on which program you want to send it in, preset things, preset settings. What these settings will do is tell the scale of the poser. If you're going into Bryce, one unit equals eight feet. Because your model is not eight feet tall, it comes out as under one unit. So, after you've set the settings that you want, these are basically setting the access for the 3D, and these are best to leave alone. So after choosing your unit size, click up set, accept. You can go to a program such as Bryce. This is another free DAS product, which I use quite often. I like it because their rendering is beautiful and the lighting is great. So, if you want to import it into DAS, you click File, Import Object, find it in the files, and open. If you're planning on using your model and texturing it in this program, you simply clicked Click Object Group. But if you would like them to have the textures that they had in the poser program, you click object. Group.